Good morning. Good morning. My name is Monsher Spencer, and I have the joy of being the Director of Student Involvement and Student Leadership here at HBU. And it is my privilege to welcome you, each of you, to this annual Honors Convocation. We are especially glad to have those of you who are visiting with us to our campus, and to you we extend a special welcome. The beautiful prelude music that you have been enjoying has been performed by a very own Dr. Rhonda Furr, professor of music in the School of Fine Arts. We thank you for sharing your gift with us today. Dr. Kevin Klotz, director of choral activities and assistant professor of music, will lead us in the singing of our hymn. The words to the hymn will be on the screen and following the hymn, Levi Aaron Bassa, class of 2021, will share a scripture reading and offer our invocation. Dr. Klotz. <laughs> Good morning. Would you please stand in honor of God's word and please remain standing as we pray. 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 through 10 says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Please pray with me. Dear Father, we just want to say thank you. 
This year was a year of weakness of both mind and body. But through this time of weakness, you have shown us the true power of who you are. It is a testament of your power that we are here today. Thank you, Father, for giving us leaders of this university wisdom and guidance in these trying times. Thank you for blessing each of these staff members and professors with the diligence and willingness to teach and serve us as students during this year. Finally, we as students thank you, for we could not have made it through this semester without your protection and grace. I pray that you continue to bless HBU and all who are in it and all who are yet to come. We give you all glory, honor, and praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, join me in welcoming our university provost, Dr. Stan Knapper, as he will come and share some remarks and a special presentation. It's uh, my privilege today to make one presentation before we make the student awards. And if Dr. Rhonda Furr would uh, come back to the stage uh, so that I can express appreciation on behalf of uh, the university for her leadership for 32 years, leading us all in worship as we just worshiped a moment ago with that great hymn. She is retiring. And I had the privilege uh, just a couple of weeks ago uh, to present a citation uh, that reads as follows. Um, by authority of the administration and the faculty, let it be known that Rhonda Furr, in honor of 32 years of distinguished service and leadership as a professor and organist at Houston Baptist University, and in recognition of her well-established reputation as an engaging instructor, whose excellence in the classroom has been affirmed by her students and fellow faculty alike, and proven out in the future success of the students she has skillfully mentored, and in commendation of her leadership in the installation of the Smith organ in Beelin Chapel. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to see Dr. Furr uh, perform on that organ where you could actually see her feet on the keys, uh, she plays like a sprinter sometimes on those uh, foot pedals. Uh, but in appreciation also for her creative gifts as a composer and her contribution of the beauty of sacred music at university's most solemn and celebratory occasions like this one. And, and in gratitude to one who has been a paragon of generous service as a mentor to students, a colleague to faculty, an ambassador of the university, is from this time forward Professor Emerita and University Organist Emerita. Ron, meet me in the middle. As a former student of Dr. Furr many years ago, I can attest to all of the great, great wisdom that she has and the beautiful heart and spirit that, that she displays for all. At this time, I want to welcome to the podium our wonderful university president and dear friend of mine, Dr. Robert Sloan. Thank you, and thank you, Mon Cher. And uh, I want to add just uh, a word of uh, thanks and gratitude uh, as well uh, to those of Dr. Knapper for Rhonda Furr. She has meant so much to this university uh, for 32 years. Uh, we will miss her presence at all of the special occasions. That will be the most obvious, but her day in and day out teaching and research and performance uh, are truly, truly outstanding. Rhonda, again, we, we thank you. Well, I have the easiest job on campus today. All I have to do is say congratulations to all of uh, you who are receiving awards. This is the time of year when we make special awards to faculty, staff, and students, and especially today, uh, we emphasize uh, honors and awards given to students and recognitions of, of various kinds. So we know we have uh, parents, grandparents, uh, family members, friends of many of our graduates who are here to join in on the celebration. Congratulations to you. Welcome to the campus and congratulations uh, to these honorees. Uh, let's begin these ceremonies. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sloan. 
Throughout this morning, we will recognize a wide array of gifts and talents that are represented by just a few of the people who make this, wonderful, this a wonderful place to work and learn. And so without further delay, I would like to begin by recognizing two members of the Student Foundation, Michael Vasquez and Christine Cabang, who will be assisting with the presentations this morning. Also assisting with ushering are Wesley Young and Preston Sharp. We will begin with awards from the colleges and schools. Selections for each award are made by members of the department faculty. Dr. Stan Knapper will come forward to assist with the presentation of these awards. Dr. Phil Tallon, Dean of the School of Christian Thought, will also assist with the presentation and awards to the students for the School of Christian Thought. The award for Outstanding Student in Theology, Derek Hinkle. for the photo if you like. <laughs> Outstanding student in classics and biblical languages, Justin Wall. Outstanding student in apologetics, Mark Dunn. Hey, Mark. Mark is out evangelizing right now. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Tallon. Dr. Jody Henze, Interim Dean of the School of Fine Arts, will present the awards for their school. The outstanding student in visual arts is Victoria Armenta. Victoria is not with us today, but we congratulate her as well. Outstanding student in cinema and new media arts, Jacob St. John. Outstanding student in creative writing, Nicholas Vafiades. Outstanding student in music, Mike Bettencourt. And the Taylor Collins Memorial Scholarship for Promising Young Men goes to Levante D. Walker. Dr. Jody Henze also serves as our Dean of the School of Humanities and he will help to present those awards. The Dr. Robert L. Brandley, Bradley Outstanding English Major of the Year goes to Emilia Forbeau. Our outstanding Spanish major is Sophia Abasi. She's not here today, but we, we congratulate her as well. The outstanding history major goes to Emma Perry.
The legal studies scholar goes to Javier Garavay. Outstanding philosophy major goes to Cameron Crowder. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Hensey. From the School of Nursing and Allied Health, Dr. Carol Lavender, Interim Dean of the school, will present their awards. Our outstanding nursing student goes to Megan Rickard. The Lily Jolly Excellence Award goes to Sarah Vinker. The outstanding kinesiology student is Kylie Young. Thank you, Dr. Lavender. Dr. Taya Fabre, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Studies for the College of Science and Engineering, will present their college's awards. The Max and Celia Grigsby Award for Outstanding Student in the College of Science and Engineering is Karima Mahotra. The outstanding student in biochemistry and molecular biology, there are two recipients, Hamna Bahali and Tristan Henderson. The outstanding student in biology, there are two as well, Charlotte Leroux and Sierra Humphrey. Our outstanding student in chemistry is Michael Hoff. He's not able to be with us today, but we congratulate him as well. The outstanding student in mathematics, Abigail Seymour. Thank you, Dr. Fabre. Dr. Greg Kiefer, Interim Dean of the Archie W. Dunham College of Business, will come to present their awards. The Award for Excellence in Accounting, Adam Rojas.
Excellence in Finance, Garrett Scott. <laughs> Excellence in International Business, Megan T. Valdez Crater. Excellence in Marketing, Tran Nguyen. <laughs> Excellence in Management, Brent N. Pronger. Thank you, Dr. Kiefer. For the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences, the Dean, Dr. Christy Serling, will present the awards for that college. The Dr. Bill Borgers Award for Outstanding Student in Education goes to Veronica Herrero Velarde. She's not able to be with us, but we, we recognize her in instead. The Robert L. Bradley's Outstanding Student in Bilingual Education goes to Daniela Maldonado, who's not here as she's student teaching uh, right now, so we congratulate her. Our Clinical Teacher of the Year goes to Latasha Scott. <laughs> the elementary intern of the year goes to Kendall Bentz. The secondary intern of the year goes to Vivian Langford. She might be out student teaching as well. The etiquette per, ser per service teacher of the year goes to Christina Edwards. The outstanding elementary education student is Megan Green, who's out student teaching right now. <laughs> Our outstanding secondary education student is Edward Grobe. Our outstanding student in the Master of Arts and Psychology program is Erica Burden White. Thank you, Dr. Serling. To conclude this section of awards, Kimberly Ramos, Senior Director for Student Success, will present the awards for the student success areas. Our Trio Achiever Award goes to Tristan Henderson.
The Trio Award of Excellence goes to Samuel Matthew Lopez. The General Tutor of the Year goes to Danielle Jones. The Writing Tutor of the Year is Hannah Gentry. The Summer Launch Mentor of the Year is Caleb Helms. The Academic Coach of the Year is Abrielle Lewis. The Supplemental Instruction teacher, t Tutor of the Year, excuse me, is Alexi Karam. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Napper, and thank you, Kimberly. We have many great achievements to recognize outside the classroom as well. And many of these awards which follow have significant academic components. Steve Maniachi, Director of Athletics, will come to present the athletic awards to some of their outstanding student athletes. There are five student athletes who will receive the Varsity Athlete Ac Academic Award. Will these students all come forward and take one photo at the end? Ashley Arnez, women's soccer. Sierra Humphrey, softball. Brent Pronger, baseball. Megan Rickard, women's soccer. and Sarah Vinker, softball. The Jan Eds Female Athlete of the Year is Caitlin Smith, Women's Track and Field. The Robbie Robertson Male Athlete of the Year is Denim Rogers, Men's Track and Field. The Francis Curtis and Mildred Boone Spirit Award goes to Coleman Robinson. Hey, 
The Galdino Lucero Service Award goes to Deborah Burnett. Thank you, Steve. Now we move to the Student Life Awards section of our program. Cassie Sorrell, intramural and club sports coordinator, represent one award for campus recreation. The Dr. James W. Massey Male Intramural Athlete of the Year is Ryan Fisher. Thank you, Cassie. Stacy Graham, coordinator for student involvement, will present Student Life Awards for Greek Life, Student Organizations, First Year Experience, and Commuter Life. The Greek of the Year goes to Emily Hernandez, Sigma Phi Lambda. The Greek Scholarship Award goes to Alpha Kappa Alpha. <laughs> the Student Organization of the Year goes to the Music Student Association. Gotta watch those earrings. The peer mentor of the year goes to Isabella Zapeda. She's out mentoring right now. Our commuter assistant of the year goes to Nicole Adrienne Chang. Thank you, Stacy. For Spiritual Life and Discipleship, Colette Cross, Director of Discipleship, will present their award. The Christian Servant Leader Award goes to Christina Little. Thank you, Colette. To finish out the Student Life Awards section, Ashley Haney, Director of Residence Life, will present the Resident Assistant of the Year. Our Resident Assistant of the Year are actually two phenomenal RAs, David Villahermosa and Mallory Badillo. Thank you, Ashley. Some of the most coveted awards at Houston Baptist University are those awarded and presented by our president, Dr. Robert Sloan, who will now come forward as we present the presidential awards. The Student Foundation is a highly distinctive group of students chosen to represent the university. Five seniors are being recognized for their service for the 2020-2021 academic year. Please come forward as your name is called and remain at the front for one group photo. Our student foundation, Michael Vasquez. <laughs> Chris.
Christine Cabang. Colleen Dunn. Devaney Malone. And Brianna Romero. The Opal Goolsby Presidential Award for Teaching Excellence. Each year, one member of the faculty is rewarded for his or her efforts and abilities in the classroom. Selection is made by committee with input from student voting and is based upon evidence of mastery of knowledge in his or her area of expertise, effective use of multiple teaching methods, responsiveness to needs, questions, and encouragement of independent thinking and learning. The finalists for this prestigious award are Dr. John Tyler, Jr., School of Humanities, Dr. Adam Harger, School of Christian Thought, Dr. Melissa Carlton, College of Science and Engineering, Ms. Jessica Murray, School of Nursing and Allied Health, Dr. Mary White, College of Education and Behavioral Sciences, Dr. Michael Keaton, Creighton, sorry, Archie D W. Dunham School of Business, and Dr. Rhonda Fur School of Fine Arts. And the recipient of the 2021 Opal Goolsby Award for Teaching Excellence is Dr. Rhonda Fur School of Fine Arts. <laughs> the President's Awards. To be considered for one of these awards, a student must have earned a minimum of a 3.0 cumulative GPA, must have made significant contributions to HBU, shows promise of representing the university well in the community after graduation, and is viewed as an exemplary all-around student. As your name is called, please come forward and remain at the front until all recipients' names are read and for one group photo. The 2021 President's Award recipients are Ms. Kaylin Charles. <laughs> Ms. Emily Hernandez. Miss Sierra Humphrey. Miss Christina Little. Miss Garima Mahotra. And Miss Rachel Sweet. Our male recipients are Michael Vasquez, Peter Bolin. I don't believe Peter is with us today. Alex Elizondo. And Mr. Brandon Patterson.
Mr. and Miss HBU. These titles are the highest honor awarded to two seniors by the HBU community as a whole, the students, faculty, and staff. They are, they are to epitomize the ideal HBU student in character, service, spiritual life, leadership, and scholarship. Please remain at the front for your photo together. This year's recipients are your 2021 Mr. HBU is Michael Vasquez. Your 2021 Miss HBU is Serena Garcia. Thank you, Dr. Sloan. Let's congratulate all of our students once more for their accomplishments in these awards. Following this honors convocation, there are a couple of things that you can dip your hand in in, in engagement. So following convocation, we have the Freshman Council, Student Involvement, and our Department of Student Success welcome you to the Freshman End of Year celebration, our Husky Luau, outside of the Ba and Hodo today, following our convocation. Also keep in mind a couple of our traditional events coming up this week. This Friday, we will host our annual Spring Fling, which is a celebration of the end of year. Our student programming board has done a fantastic job preparing for this. It'll be the last day of classes, Friday at 5 p.m. in front of the HODO, and it's gonna be a rodeo, so come on out. And then lastly, our, one of our, our most fun traditions is late night breakfast, but because of everything going on, we're doing it not so late, and so we're calling it not so late night breakfast on Monday, May 10th, starting at 5 p.m. in the Ball Dining Center. Now Huskies, we've had an amazing opportunity of growth and togetherness this year. Uh, we've had some challenges, but we consider those opportunities for the Lord to show his goodness. Let's end the semester with a bang. Congratulations to all of our graduates. You know, I was thinking about this. These graduates started with a hurricane and they ended through a pandemic. But through it all, the Lord has covered you and blessed you. And we share that same blessing over you for your next chapters. So congratulations to all that were recognized today. There's not a better way to end this, this, our time of celebration than with prayer and with singing of our alma mater, Hail the Orange and Blue. The words will be on the screen. Please stand for our benediction, led by Kylie Young, class of 2021, followed by Dr. Kevin Klotz as he leads in our singing of our alma mater. Thank you for joining us today and celebrating the excellence of HBU. Would y'all please bow your head in prayer with me? Dear Lord, I just wanted to thank you for your grace, mercy, and unconditional love that you have shown always to us. I want to thank you for all of my fellow HBU students and all of our accomplishments that were recognized here today. I ask that you use each and everyone's gifts to help the world become a brighter place for you. We thank you for all the friendships and memories made here at HBU. God, we ask you to use us to build your kingdom and that we can have the strength and wisdom to live our lives for you, Lord. I pray that as school comes to a close for the summer, that we enjoy the time meant for rest and recovery to be recharged for what next year has to bring. I ask that you keep everyone safe as they go on their own separate ways today. Thank you for all you have done for us. We love you, Lord, and in your name we pray. Amen. Amen.
alma mater, Christ saying, I am the way. In our search for knowledge, tempered with thy love, seeking our place of service with wisdom from above. Give us courage, strength, and faith to face our world. challenge, knowing Thou art near. God bless our school, keep us safe and true. God bless our alma mater, hail the orange and This concludes our Honors Convocation. You are dismissed, and at this time, we'll have a QR code for our COW credit. Be blessed, and see y'all next year.